Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. On today's bulletin, 80 pupils share one classroom blog. The plight of albinos in rural areas is being ignored. Zimbabwe's junior tennis players disappoint. And Highlanders thump Quellatin at the weekend. Zimbabwe's rural school infrastructure is crumbling and schools are being stretched to breaking point because of increased enrollment without financial resources to match. Our reporter Jairo Saunyama looks at the plight of rural students. At least 80 students are sharing one classroom block at Gohakova Secondary School in Headlands in the Manikalen province using makeshift desks highlighting the plight of rural schools. ATV visited the school in Makoni North constituency where the deputy head spoke about the breakdown of infrastructure and problems facing the students at the school. The school has a total of five teachers who take turns to teach form ones and twos in the classrooms. Because of the poor learning conditions at the school, the pupils are not doing well in their academic studies. almost two months but at least the performance The makeshift block was built four years ago to cater for the local peoples who were traveling more than 10 kilometers to the nearest secondary school. Apart from the shortage of classes, the school also faces a serious shortage of learning materials. Poorly equipped schools such as Gowakova Secondary School and others in rural areas are unlikely to attract specialist teachers for science and math, something which education experts say will produce a generation of dropouts. Reporting for ATV in Tanda Village, Manikaland Province, Zimbabwe. People living with albinism in rural areas are routinely shunned by their communities and often excluded from receiving life-saving information about preventing skin cancer. Muchaneta Chimuka reports. Banu vanora vamane usope zikuru se kumaru wa variku tambuzi vane kumarara reganda zuchitele la kushais kwa kwa vane ita zikushandisa uye kuwe kure kwa wane zipatara. Mesi mazani we kumarova ekwa chuota, anotara nishwe mata mziko anu tarisana na omu upenyu wake. Wana kutindichi kwanza kutiwande watiku, wajiki wachiguta, awasha wana kujika wachiguta ni urugeri wandana ho. Karinda ishanda kuta andai mbuzu, trag. Asine urugeri wandana wana uzo, haku ndineti. Muri yangu yini ya kusafa ni zara. Unonoka kuwanis kwa mafuta anu zivira ganda kupa mkupisa kwezo vantiko kumwe kuna ita kutiva batu kune kumarara iri. Kutipani kwa mpandaka uzonzi ino kondiri kwa ni nesu wa kunyanyi. Mkushanta kwa teta muminta umu ni kujidi. Mungwa mbereke anu mwana anura ramane usope anu taranije mata mutiko anu sanga ni kwa nevana ava mshikoro. Nechiche moche chema glass. Vana pawala waru kenda kushikoro. Variku sarira shakanyanisa ni kude kukuti Sunjane ngari kunyora ana charu kwa nsa watanyori ni kude kukuti ana chi ana ma glass Saka rimwe dambu zikuratiru sanga na wana riroro pa wana wedi wawo Saka teicho kumbiru wawo kuti na kuna nukwa chikuwa nsa kuti batisira wawo Badi wakwa nsa kuti batisira wawo ni ma glass ya ibana Kunze kwa kumarara iri vanu ava vanu sanga na ni mata mziko kumine fararira Ni kudaro variku zama kubisa rusarura urgu kuburi kiza ni mitambo ya madirama ni zimbo Zizisa kuti tisa zikisira ya kubanu vanu wala maneti newe newe awa binisi Nelinewe usope Tisa wa zikisire Ada msope ngati shiga mchirei Alorwa ni msope ngati shiga mchirei Anosha gaimbali msope ngati shiga mchirei Ito seti rivanu Shakadai chipatata shishitungi za Central Hospital. Chiriku batzira wano ama ni mafuta ema sunscreen lotion spachie na. Organization ni chukura mbati chishanda pamweche na chitungi za Central Hospital. Iye iluku sadi sachitizo chayaka vimbisa 
kuburikiza ne moyo mchena wa Dr. Obadaya Moyo mukuru wechitungisa hospital chekuti tengera maloshenza ya tiri kupota chipa vanhu pamwedzi zvakare tiri kushanda se organization kuti vaye vai band vati batsire vai band remu organization vari kuti batsira kufundraiser mari yo tichatenga ma sunscreen lotions kana vanhu ava vakasawaniswa rubatsiro nenguva vazhinji vavo vacharasikirwa neupenyu zvikuru sei mumwaka uno wekupisa watave ndine mutaro wena we ATV ndiri muHarare Zimbabwe Zimbabwe's young tennis players failed to impress in the first round of the International Tennis Federation Under-18 competition held recently in Harare. Robert Tafumane gives us the report. Zimbabwe junior tennis players performed dismally in the first leg of the International Tennis Federation Under-18 tournament by failing to reach the finals of the game's circuit. Zimbabwe tennis president spoke to ATV about the performance of Zimbabwe's junior tennis players. We entered a lot of players, hope mainly for a lot of players were in the qualifiers, mainly for exposure, and to help them to know and understand what an ITF event of this magnitude is all about. They are also very young players. Despite the poor performance by the Zimbabwe players, she said the second games gave them good exposure to fill in the gap left by the black family. I believe that maybe our Wayne and Byron probably come from one day an underprivileged child. Tennis Zimbabwe coach Martin Zoa was disappointed as well and hopes the junior tennis players will do better in the second leg which began on Monday this week. It is disappointing and we hope Tennis Zimbabwe will increase the number of tournaments that we are having at maybe 10 so that our local players will have a chance to get a better ranking. India's Rutuja Bosale and South Africa's Matthew Rosu were the winners of the ITF Under-18 tournament in the boys and girls categories. Well, it feels really nice to be the winner of the tournament uh, between so many girls and it just feels great. The winner of the boys category was South Africa's Matthew Rosu. A total of 100 players from around the world are taking part in the two-legged International Tennis Federation African Junior Circuit Tournament at Harare Sports Club. The ITF Junior Circuit is a grade 4 ranking competition whereby players battle for points which will be used in their world rankings. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Fired up Premier League leaders, Highlanders thumped Quellatin 7-1 on Sunday at Barberfields Stadium. Crispin Tavura reports. Islanders over the weekend demolished newcomers Quillerton Football Club 7-0 at a match played at Barberfield Stadium. Zimbabwe Castle Lager Premier League log leaders now lead the log standing with 36 points from 16 matches and the last time the team won 7-1 was against Zimbabwe Saints in 1990 at the same venue. Also took the lead by powering three goals past the Quillerton net in the first half. A Highlanders fan scaled over the fence and ran onto the pitch to celebrate the fourth goal in a move that raised security concerns over Barberfield Stadium. Another soccer fan got injured after falling from the Soweto Bay while celebrating Boswell's fifth goal and paramedics had to rush him to the nearby Mpilo Hospital. Boswell's head coach Kelvin Kayendu expressed joy after his team demolished a helpless Quellaton. We don't have a team, we have a squad and everyone in the team is ready to play. Yes, definitely we miss them one or another. They have been so influential in the games that we have played. But I believe him, the, the guys that play today, they are quite a good replacement for them. Quellaton football club's assistant coach Simbarashi Rusike, whose team sits at the bottom of the log, ruled out relegation. It's not yet over. I'm happy. Now we have got to correct our mistakes. Reporting for ATV in Mulawayo, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.